And she came over to the bed, leaned her mop up against the wall, comes over to the bed, and her assistant got down on her knees and closed her eyes and raised her hand in prayer. And Marva came over and laid her hands on me. And this is no genteel, oh, dear Jesus, we just thank you for this boy and ask you. <laughs> no, we stormed the gates of heaven. <laughs> And she took Lynn and me along for the ride. And then she goes on for five minutes in this, what I presume is this Pentecostal-like prayer, you know, from, from her church and background, you know, and she said, oh, Lord Jesus, you made this man's mouth and you can cure this man's mouth. We ask you right now, Lord, right now to fix this man's mouth so that he can breathe and he can swallow and he can eat and he can testify to the glories of God because, of, you know, so we go on. The, this goes on five minutes. She finally says, amen. So, and then she cleaned the room, take out, take, you know, they take out the trash, mop the floor. I'll be back and look in on you in a few days. So, Ken, the next morning, there is no more mouth sore. 